In the Google Earth application, there are five areas that you're going to be working with. In the upper right corner is the navigation controls. At the top is the toolbar. But this video is going to take a look at the left sidebar, which is divided into three areas. Search, Places, and Layers. You can change how your left sidebar looks in several ways. First of all, if you hover near the right border, you'll notice that I get the double arrow and I can pull and I, if I want to, I can expand this make it wider or more narrow. You also have the option up here with this button to make the sidebar hide away. Click on it again to make it reappear. Although the sidebar contains three different sections, you probably won't be using all of them at the same time. If I want to make the search section disappear, I can use this triangle and click on that to minimize it. Now you see that places are larger and layers is larger. If I click on layers, then that hides away. Then I have the entire section now the sidebar for my places. This could be helpful for real world math activities. Another way to change the view of the sidebar is by grabbing the border between any two sections. Wait until you get the double arrows and then you can grab and stretch it up or down depending on how you want it arranged. Finally, it's a good idea to arrange your place marks, paths, or any other items that you have in My Places within folders. To create a new folder, go over My Places, and you can right click if you have a PC or control click if you have a, a Mac, and add folder. You can also choose this option using the add menu in the top. And you get a pop-up window where you can title it. I'm going to title this one. And you probably want to select allow this folder to be expanded. If I need to, I can add a description to it. And you'll see that now down below here I have camping trip is added to my places. Right now it's empty, so if I want to add place marks or paths, it's easy enough. I'm going to take campsite one and drag it into camping trip and do the same for campsite 2 and so on. Keeping paths and place marks in folders and folders and other folders is a good way to keep your places organized so that you can find what you want when you need it.